Okay, everybody, my name is Jeremy Lloyd, and this week we're going to go ahead and look at my iOS version of the dog tracker. Um, so let's go ahead first and see the user creation or the user authentication. Sorry. So let's go ahead and check this out. You can see this is the third take actually on the video. So we're going to do video test two, and we're going to do the password here and see if we can log in. Username not found, so let's go ahead and please sign up to continue. So let's press sign up. Yay, the account was created. I did find that if you just try to sign up right away, it doesn't work for some reason. Parse isn't creating the account. But once we do sign log in and then press the sign up button, it works. And then now we can go ahead and press the login button again. So once we are logged in, let's go ahead and make sure that our account got created. So let's go ahead and refresh the screen. You can see here the account was created, video test 2. And now let's go ahead and create some data. So let's go ahead and add some data here. So we're going to go ahead and change the date to the second. You can see down here that it did change the date to February 2nd. Um, different day here and the time we can also change that so once that changes it should update as well and once we convert it over for some reason it just shows our current date and current time but let's go ahead and save that because that would be one of the variables we want to save and the other one would be the true or false this is going to give you a boolean right here and it's going to save it to parse so let's go ahead and save that to parse so let's go ahead and check that out the newest one at 1037 right here you can see everything got uploaded and works just fine so now let's see if we can read that data so since i was not able to communicate with any of the other uis um, this is one of the methods i figured out to get around um, populating a list view is uh, we're going to view it via an alert so it'll go ahead and grab the first one down here, which is a uh, 324, um, the 15th. And this is a similar issue that I was having with Android, actually, now that I noticed that it's pulling from every user. Um, so it's going to pull all the data from any user at the moment. Uh, don't know at the moment what is wrong with that one. We're going to move forward. So you can see it did create a, it grabbed a string. And it also grabbed the boolean and it converted it back over to the string once it's there. And you can see here, that's where the boolean is at. So now we are able to view the data. Um, the deleting of the data is a little different. That one is not available at this time. So we're going to move forward to the application UI. So let's say if you want to go ahead and log off. We're going to go ahead and log off. And it goes ahead and logs you off and brings you back to the main page where you can log back in. There is some minor bugs. You can see the writing is still there. I just kind of run out of time right now. So this is the application for week two, the iOS version of the dog tracker. Um, can't wait to get back into Android next week where I'm a little bit more comfortable. And I'll see you guys all next week with uh, part two of the Android version of this.